Sir William Osler was a Canadian physician and one of the big four founding professor of Johns Hopkins Hospital. William Osler lived from 1849 to 1918 and during his career he had created the foundation of the discipline of internal medicine and was also instrumental in developing the system of clinical medical education that continues to be used today. Today we are going to discuss some of his quotes. We are here to add what we can to life, not to get what we can from life. The value of experience is not in seeing much, but in seeing wisely. The greater the ignorance, the greater the dogmatism. One of the first duties of the physician is to educate the masses not to take medicine. The best preparation for tomorrow is to do today's work superbly. Listen to your patient, he is telling you the diagnosis. One special advantage of the skeptical attitude of mind is that a man is never vexed to find that after all he has been in the wrong. Shut out all of your past except that which will help you weather your tomorrows. Look wise, say nothing and grunt, speech was given to conceal thought. Medicine is a science of uncertainty and an art of probability. The person who takes medicine must recover twice, once from the disease and once from the medicine. Acquire the art of detachment, the virtue of method and the quality of thoroughness, but above all the grace of humility. Ask not what disease the person has, but rather what person the disease has. He who studies medicine without books sails an uncharted sea, but he who studies medicine without patience does not go to the sea at all. The good physician treats the disease, the great physician treats the patient who has the disease. Think not of the amount to be accomplished, the difficulties to be overcome or the end to be attained, but set honestly at the little task at your elbow, letting that be sufficient for the day. The philosophies of one age have become the absurdities of the next and the foolishness of yesterday has become the wisdom of tomorrow. Live neither in the past nor in the future, but let each day's work absorb your entire energies and satisfy your widest ambition. Quit worrying about your health, it will go away. Varicose veins are the result of an improper selection of grandparents. In seeking absolute truth, we aim at the unattainable and must be content with broken portions. The very first step towards success in any occupation is to become interested in it. The future belongs to science. More and more she will control the destinies of the nations. Already she has them in her crucible and on her balances. The librarian of today and it will be true still more of the librarians of tomorrow are not fiery dragons interposed between the people and the books. They are useful public servants who manage libraries in the interest of the public. Many still think that a great reader or a writer of books will make an excellent librarian. This is pure fallacy. To do today's work well and not to bother about tomorrow is the secret of accomplishment. In science, the credit goes to the man who convinces the world, not to the man to whom the idea first occurs. 
the doctor who treats himself has a fool for a patient nothing will sustain you more potently than the power to recognize in you humdrum routine the true poetry of life the poetry of the common place of the ordinary person of the plain toil worn with their loves and their joys their sorrows and griefs it is astonishing with how little reading a doctor can practice medicine but is not astonishing how badly he may do it nothing in life is more wonderful than faith the one great moving force which we can neither weigh in the balance nor taste in the crucible